there's got to be inspectors, right? So well, the that's, inspectors that's must part be of the watching. Scandal, is that that's what this guy that what is he suicide, saying? Suicide. That's what he was saying. Is that they they were not inspecting correctly, and part of the video that went viral of him talking was that him and his team went out there and they inspected and they found all these violations. Let's see his video. Let's see his video because I, I've only seen him speak very briefly, but I saw the store and I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I, my first initial thought was this man was so embarrassed by the fact that he incorrectly said that Boeing was an evil corporation that he decided to take his own life because he knew that Boeing was amazing and that uh, he had generally, genuinely done a terrible thing, so he decided to take his life. Yeah, that's a plausible that explanation. That seems most likely. Yeah. Because the other uh, the other possibilities, they killed him. Yeah, because, that's... Because uh, he's telling the truth. Yeah, and that was going to be a problem. That's a dark story right there. That's a dar The dark story is that they killed him because if he's dead, then they make billions of dollars. And if he's alive, he could fuck them up and cause the stock to crash yeah. and all kinds of other problems to happen and a lot of investigations and all kinds of other stuff, if he's right. One, this is not a 737 problem. It's a Boeing problem. Um, and I know the FAA has gone in and they've done due diligence and inspections to assure that the door plugs of the 737 are, are installed properly and the fasteners are stored properly. But my concern is what's the rest of the airplane? What's the rest of the condition of the airplane? And the reason my concern for that is Back in 2012, Boeing started removing inspection operations off their jobs. So it left the mechanics to buy off their own work. So what we're seeing with the door plug blowout is what I've seen with the rest of the airplane as far as jobs not being completed properly, inspection steps being removed, um, issues being ignored. My concerns are with the 737 and the 787 because those programs have really embraced the theory that quality is overhead and non-value added. Um, so those two programs have really put a strong effort into removing quality from the process. When I first started working at Charleston, I was in charge with pushing back defects to our suppliers. And what that meant was I'd take a group of inspectors and actually go to the supplier and inspect their product before they sent it in. Well, I'd taken a team of four inspectors to Spirit Aerosystems to inspect the 41 section before they sent it to Charleston. And we found 300 defects. Some of them were significant that needed engineering um, intervention. Um, when I returned to Charleston, my senior manager told me that we had found too many defects and he was going to take the next trip. So the next trip he went on, he took two of my inspectors. And when they got back, they were given accolades for only finding 50 defects. So I pulled that inspector aside and I said, did Spirit really clean up their act that quick? That don't sound right. And she was mad. She said, no. Said the two inspectors were given two hours to inspect the whole 41 section and they were kicked off the airplane. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so there are inspectors, sort of. Well, that sounds like a money thing, right? They're saying that quality is overhead. They're looking yeah, well, at that's whistle, profits. First, a whistleblower statement was made in 2017, I think. Mm. Yeah, he was, what, doing like a deposition or something the other day when he was found dead in his car in the parking lot of a hotel. 